Hey, what's going on? This is Alex from Motor Life, and today we are hanging out in the Brad Cave. It's going to be all cold and rainy here the next couple days, so me and you, we are going to hang out. We're going to build a bike. Just, just hang out in the garage and build a bike together. If you like this, if you like hanging out with me in the garage, make sure you let me know by hitting a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know where you're from. Let me know what you got going on. So today, we actually have a couple of cool parts here. So we have an awesome uh, Zeta Dawn uh, version 2 felt faker frame here in that awesome blue color. We do have a Zeta YD100 Max. That's one of those two-piece Zeta YD100s. And we do have their new ZDX, uh, ZDX65. Um, performance exhaust which is awesome in that gold color and then here's the rims that come with it here is the chopper style triple tree forks uh we're gonna be taking all those parts and building an awesome bike i even actually found some uh, awesome uh kind of a uh, mirrored gold chrome foil tape that i think we're gonna use in a couple different places to make this an awesome bike so if you guys are ready let's go ahead and just get started putting this beast together. I'm going to paint the engine black. I think I'm actually gonna do something cool with the forks here. So I kinda wanna get rid of all this chrome. So I'm going to paint these black. And then I'm gonna use that uh, chrome tape or that uh, gold tape, as you can see, to kinda make the whole thing gold there. So hopefully if all of this works, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be one bad, pretty little ride here. So let's go ahead and get this thing on the rack and uh, get started. All right, so goals for today, we're gonna get this all assembled. We're gonna get this turned into a regular bicycle, get the wheels all trued up, get all that. While the engine and forks are drying, we'll get all that put together. All right, so next I'm gonna check out the rear wheel. I'm gonna throw it on my super ultra fancy truing stand. Uh, that way we can see how these wheels are looking. Let me grab my super fancy ultra truing stand for you. Got my super fancy ultra, ultra special truing stand here. As you can see, it is literally just a pair of forks attached to a fan base. And then I got some zip ties here so I can uh, really dial in how, I, uh, how true I want those rims. And uh, I've used this for like 10 years and it's worked perfectly. Now that I got it all lined up in there, I can see how true it is by how much these uh, zip ties move on the side. And I know this is super basic, super, super basic, super jank, but uh, if it works, it works. And honestly, honestly, these wheels don't look, see? these wheels don't look too bad. So at least the back one is ready to go. All right, cool. I'm happy that was so straight. I'm going to go ahead and get this kind of just in place so I can start doing mock-ups. Now I'm going to make sure the brakes are lined up and everything, but we will get all of that tightened down uh, later on in the journey. Yeah, brakes definitely going to have to be aligned later on, but we can do all that once we get the uh, chains on and everything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this petcock on there. I got a little bit of gas-resistant thread tape to make sure it seals, but I'm going to go ahead and get this installed on there. All right, what's next is to uh, get the forks and the engine ready to start mounting. Uh, and this thing's almost ready to go. Cool, all right, and trying something new, down in the links in the description, I've actually made a uh, just a full motorized bike parts list of all the stuff you can find on Amazon. So as I'm going through and just buying stuff, I'm gonna keep adding it to that list. So there's gonna be a full motorized bike ultimate parts list down there that anybody can see. So check the links down there. If you like that, I can keep putting together stuff for you. That way you guys can do all this. Uh, you can find all the parts on your own. Uh, so check the link down in the description. All right, I'm gonna try out my first little trick with this tape here. I, I love this tape. I do a bunch of different things with it, but I do want to make this kickstand gold. So I'm gonna uh, cut a section of this, wrap it around. And don't worry, I'll put a link where you can find this uh, gold tape so you can do this to your own bikes. You know what? That is not too shabby. <laughs> For some uh, just little tape you can buy at the store, I don't think that turned out too shabby. I don't think that turned out too bad. Like now that I know that works, I bet you this is all gonna work on here. So like I said, I'm gonna do these center parts black 
and then I'm gonna do the actual post this chrome color. There's a little test there. I think it's gonna be crispy. Might need to do some stripes down there. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's turn out cool. Turn out cool. Oh, you can see what? You can see that's gonna be dope. All right, I got my paint and hoodie on, so let's check out this YD100 Max engine. So this is their new YD100 Max, and it is a two-piece cylinder combo, so it's kind of like the regular Zeta 80 option. And in fact, you do have a high compression head option on this one, which is super cool. But I was going to take the lazy way out and do this all black. I can't do that. So I'm going to get this engine all together, get all the chrome bits off, paint it all black. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. We're just going to do some magic here. All right, so you can see I got the engine all painted black here. Got all the little chrome bits, odds and ends. I think all that turned out pretty nice. Uh, and then the forks actually turned out better than I thought they would. So got all that ready to go, and we're going to do that gold uh, foil all on this. So I think we are about ready to get everything uh, on this frame and ready to go. All right, I got the YD100 Max all buttoned up here, looking great. And I do want to show, here's a regular uh, Zeta 80. I just want to show them side by side that we can kind of see they are very, very close. This one is a little bit bigger, but honestly, uh, you really, really wouldn't be able to tell just kind of looking at them side by side. But uh, cool. So got the forks and everything on this guy here. They turned out pretty nice. I think I'm going to run the handlebars this way. I don't know. We'll see once we do some testing here. But uh, yeah, got the forks and everything ready to go. So I'm going to get this down, take some pictures, get the back chain on it. But then we're ready to put on the engine and uh, get everything mounted up. So we're almost there. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm telling you, I've tried all different sorts of stands and mounts and all sorts of things. The easiest thing is seriously these ratchet straps and hooks to the studs in your ceiling because you can seriously just pick them up, pick up your whole bike and just move it around. I've even tried putting little swivels and things you can. Uh, but yeah, no, easiest thing uh, to make a bike rack is just ratchet straps, hooks to the ceiling. So we're gonna go ahead and get this engine on here and ready to go get this guy right on there perfect all right i do want to mention this for anybody that's never built a felt faker before that's watching uh if you try to mount this without anything by itself it does hit the sprocket down here so we're going to use uh and actually one of the uh, universal mounts on this one but you can also use that cnc mount that brings everything up to here but uh, today we're using the universal mount All right, got the carb, got the gas line, spark plug, got everything mounted up. And I'm going to carefully get this exhaust in place here without bumping and scratching everything. Now, I do know what you're thinking, too. This exhaust is probably going to change colors here uh, at the bottom. So I probably will have to paint this, uh, the end part, the intake part here, uh, black at some point. Hopefully, uh, it looks to line up perfectly, though. The gold accents, that could, that's going to be uh, pretty crispy. But you can see, that is really, really, really close to that gas line there. So I'm probably going to try to run it over and around. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. But you can see how close that is. But yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Coming together. All right. She's starting to look like a bike. So I got a throttle, everything hooked up. Uh, brakes, I got a throttle, clutch, everything looking good here. Uh, yeah, I got the gas line, everything, gonna run the chain next. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. So, looks like it is perfectly tight without a tensioner. That is actually extremely convenient because I remember on this felt faker with this regular engine, the BB, uh, BBR one, use the universal mount and it lined up and I did not have to use a tensioner. Hmm. I like that. It's going to probably be my frame of choice just because of that. Now, of course, it's probably going to stretch at some point. I may have to put something, but cool. Right, cool. So I actually found a, a brake cable, got the wiring all hooked up, went inside the CDI, took off the white wire at the actual magneto at the magneto itself, got the chain hooked up, got the wheel all straightened. Uh, yeah, I can't think of a, anything else we need to do on this besides get the uh, gold forks all ready to go, which I'm going to take that uh, 
uh, gold chrome tape over there and kind of make these look a little bit better. But other than that, I mean, she'll fire right now. She'll, she'll, she'll explode. So let's go ahead and get it on the ground and get it outside. All right, so got it on the ground. This thing looks good. So I'm getting that foil tape on the forks here. And I'm not, I'm not going to lie. That looks great. Like what? For some $4 like chrome gold tape. Like that looks legit. I'll have to get the fingerprints off obviously, but that's going to be dope. <laughs> All right. You know what? If you like this, hit a thumbs up. All right, so I spent a few minutes just getting that tape all set up on the forks here. Just took an X-Acto knife and trimmed around the edges. It looks pretty nice. I do want to mention that I got this all lined up here, and I did kind of cut the rubber so it goes up and down around that foil tape. But what? I think we built a bike, dudes. All right, let's uh, let's take uh, The sun just came out. It's still super windy out there, so uh, I think it's time for some dramatic music. Let's do it. Oh, this is gonna be first start. I'm just taking you guys with me. So good or bad. Let's see what this guy does. I'm gonna pedal it a little ways and just make sure everything is nice and tight and ready to go. I am using Opti 2, 32 to 1 for break in on this guy because I expect him to go pretty fast. Uh, let's uh, drop the clutch. All right, I'm gonna take off the choke. Let's try it one more time with the choke off. Looks like it's all time ready to go. It fired up though, yeah. I forgot to turn the gas on. I forgot to turn the gas on. All right, that shows even the pro, even people that call themselves pros did not uh, turn on the gas. All right, all right, get this guy down here. 
All right, before the rain comes in, all right, all of you comment down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, hit everything. This guy's smoking, looks like it's got a burn in. I think it might have a little bit of an air leak, but awesome, me and you, we built a bike from start to finish. So I'm gonna do a lot more tests with this guy. You're gonna see a whole nother video on the YD100 Max compared to the regular YD100. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Deuces.